Welcome, David Wiss here, Registered Dietitian, Founder of Nutrition and Recovery. Today we're going to talk about ADHD and disordered eating. This is such an important topic and very relevant to my clinical practice. The research that first caught my attention looked at the link between childhood ADHD and risk for obesity later on in adulthood. These authors showed that those with ADHD that had difficulty succeeding in weight loss have deficits in executive functioning. Now this is governed by the prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain that's necessary to plan, monitor, and execute goal-directed complex actions. This study of children and adolescents ages 8 through 14, actually excluding those with eating disorders and substance use disorders, found that those in the overweight and obese group that had loss of control eating had higher rates of ADHD diagnoses. These authors suggest that the link between loss of control eating and ADHD is likely due to the behavioral aspects of impulse control. This study looked at 385 overweight and obese youth across various sites and found that 124 of them had what we call dysregulated eating. That could be either objective or subjective binge eating as well as subjective overeating. In this study, ADHD was associated with objective binge eating episodes. This study looks at that temporal element that looks at disordered eating across time. It linked early ADHD to later on disordered eating. The higher inattention combined with higher hyperactivity and impulsivity early on in childhood and adolescence was associated with an increase in disordered eating later on in later adolescence. This was a Swedish cohort. The results in the other studies combined are starting to imply that we could do better with prevention and detection and treatment of eating disorders. We need to monitor and respond to these diagnoses in a way that can prevent progression into full-blown eating disorders. The uh, abuse of prescription medication for ADHD has also been linked to eating disorder symptomatology. This study looked at Adderall, Ritalin, and Concerta. Although the big one now is Vyvanse, there's a lot of Vyvanse being prescribed for binge eating disorder. These authors suggested that pres uh, prescribing physicians need to really consider the potential for misuse among individuals at risk for eating disorder. This review article confirmed the link between ADHD and eating disorders and actually showed that the uh, association and relationship is bi-directional, meaning it goes both ways. This uh, research study showed that in, a, in this one small sample, the relationship between ADHD and eating disorders was much more pronounced in those that had binge and purge features. So this would be the bulimia nervosa patient or the patient with anorexia nervosa binge purge type. These would be the most common uh, uh, cases where the interaction effect between ADHD and ED is seen. This study looked at the National Comorbidity Survey and found that not only was ADHD linked with eating disorder, is that there was an association with gender as well, and that women had much higher rates of uh, eating disorder uh, among those that had ADHD. You could see here that bulimia nervosa in the last 12 months was the highest. These authors suggested that yes, it is stronger among women and that while certain medications can be helpful, caution is strongly advised given that stimulants can be abused by patients with EDs to facilitate weight loss. This article looked at adults. Um, it was actually all females. They excluded males in this study. The authors uh, concluded that there's a high frequency of ADHD symptoms in patients with binge eating, purging eating disorders that motivates further studies, particularly concerning the effects of ADHD medication. Um, so yes, there's a link here that we need to start seeing, thinking about, and discussing. Conclusions. ADHD is linked to appetite dysregulation, and this isn't just true in the short term, it's true across the lifespan, particularly if there's medications involved. ADHD is linked to disordered eating, most commonly with the binge purge. This problem is more pronounced in females, or at least it's more described in females in the scientific literature, which is pretty limited. Uh, and lastly, ADHD meds may be part of the problem. I do want to say that they might be part of the solution for some people as well, but they do have a high potential for abuse. And in my personal experience in clinical practice, uh, some of these medications are certainly contraindicated for clinically significant 
uh, anorexia and bulimia with binge purge, especially if there's a severe body image disturbance. If you have any questions, comments, please go ahead and leave them below. I'd love to hear from you.